someone sent me a text message and he said these notches are about 0.5 inches as you can see what's the easiest way to narrow them down to 0.25 without redrawing the entire piece okay that's a good question um, we can see that we have a vertical line here we have a notch in I presume to be a 45 degree angle it doesn't matter what the angle is the the process will come out the same here's another angle looks like to be about 22 and a half with another notch and the back side of this tool is unimportant for this demonstration all we're concerned about with all we're concerned about is these notches we want the position of the notches to be exactly in the same place we want them to be one quarter inch wide and we don't want to have to redraw the entire piece so the easiest thing to do here is I've drawn something as you can see pretty similar to what you have I have three notches down here I have one in the crotch of this corner and then I have one on the uh, the, the apex or the peak of this corner and I, I think I've come fairly close to drawing them um, maybe this one here just for the heck of it Might have been a little shorter. Does that look about right? Yes, yeah, so that's close enough. Anyway, whatever the whatever the measurements are, it's the concept is the same. Okay, so what are we going to do? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my brush tool. And when you hold down the brush tool, it becomes a cut tool or a clip tool. And anything that's inside of the circle that you click on is going to be cut away. So I'm going to hold down my control key, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get as much of the bottom of the notch as I can and the corner but not cut too much of the corner away so I'm going to cut like there and there and there and there and I'll cut there 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 and very carefully there. And what have I done? Well, if I use my X tool, which is the Trim Extend tool, I can click on this here. And in order to extend a line, it has to be able to hit another line. So I can either extend this way and come up to it, or go straight up and extend down to it. So let's get a little closer so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to extend up with this line, come over with this one, and then trim it. Uh, the same with this here. This one cannot be used because it won't extend out. There's nothing to extend it to. But this one will extend down and hit this base. So I'm going to click on that one there. And then I'll get in closer. Can make the connection. And join. And I get back to my original tool shape just like that. Okay. Uh, once we do that, we can get rid of this dimension. We don't need that anymore. Now what's important is maybe the spacing of these slots, it might have something uh, to do with the way the machine operates. So you can't move these slots around. They have to be exactly where they are, except the requirement is that they be a quarter of an inch wide instead of 0.563. So let's draw some new slots. I'm going to say W here, and I'll say, uh, you can make it any length, but I'll say at 4, 0.25. There's a quarter inch wide slot that's four inches long. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it. I'll get closer F3 from M, the midpoint, here. F4 to previous zoom. And then I'll say M midpoint here. M midpoint here. M. 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 M and you can continue on up the tool with this as much as you want this is just for demonstration okay once those are done we don't need these anymore so we can highlight them and get rid of them then we go back to the trim extend tool and trim these trim these off here and then the last step is to carefully trim out the notch escape out of the tool and join it and there you go now you have your tool we'll go to dimension node to node 
and you can see that you have 0.25 inches, exactly what you were looking for. I hope this video has helped you out. Um, feel free to check my YouTube uh, playlist. I don't really have a channel per se, but check my YouTube playlist. Uh, there's plenty of videos there to help you figure out various things, and most of the videos are not structured training. They're mostly created just to answer somebody's question about how to do something just like this, and I hope this video has helped you.